Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan and in today's video we're going to be looking at a really lovely leather wallet from a company in the UK called Wingback and this is called the Winston. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for Wingback are an independent design studio based in London. They were only founded in 2014, but they really seem to care about the, the quality and the longevity of their products. The material used here is really lovely and it smells really lovely. It's a full grain leather. It's a Tuscan leather. It's about 1.4 mil in thickness. So it's actually quite a thick leather feels really strong and hard wearing and you just know this is going to patina really nicely over time. The wallet comes with a nice card, no doubt from the person who's been working on your wallet and a little message from the company. And on the front of the card, it says made to order, guaranteed for life, which is a really nice touch comes in this cotton bag with a little bit of detailing on the label and it's nice that the packaging can be reused there's no cardboard packaging or paper packaging that comes with it which i think is intentional it has to be simple functional and um and useful. They have a motto which is try for 30 days keep for 30 years and they will say they will replace or repair any product that has a problem within that 30 year period, uh, assuming they're still around for 30 years, which I imagine they might be if they take this much care over their, their product and their messaging. The stitching is a really heavy duty stitching, but the quality is really nice. Each one apparently is handmade and hand stitched to order. And that means you can do a little bit of personalization. You can choose the stitching color and you can have an inscription either on the inside uh, or the front. It's made of only three pieces of leather. So the main back and these front pieces here are one piece of leather. And then we have two other pieces that are sewn in. There's no lining, which I really like. Uh, the lining is the sort of thing that fails over time on a bifold wallet like this. So the fact that there's no lining, there's nothing there to fail and it, and it looks really good. And I really like this sort of minimal approach to carrying a wallet. You just carry what you really need. It fits in the front pocket of your jeans, which is great. Nobody's gonna nick it from the front pocket of your jeans without you knowing. So I like that, particularly for travel. And um, it's just one of those products you really want to own. It's not cheap. I mean, in the UK, it's about £80, including VAT, which translates to a, a dollar price of about $100. Uh, they will ship anywhere in the world. You, you're getting something here that um, you just feel will last a lifetime. Let's look at the detail around putting some cards in there and seeing how it uh, copes and looks. So just running through some of the features of the Winston wallet. Uh, according to the information, it holds four to 12 cards. Well, I don't think I'd like to fit 12 in there necessarily, but I guess it can do it. For me, this is all about minimal carry. So I just wanna carry what I need day to day. And I actually regularly use four cards, a mix of work, uh, personal debit and credit, so uh, I've swapped my cards for these and let's just put, I've got uh, three in there and one in there. You'll see the, um, the shaping is a little bit different there. You've got just a little bit more space here. The cards in this size are a little bit easier to remove than that side. So I would suggest putting cards in there you use probably less of the time and the one you need constant access to, I would put in that side. The other good thing about that is if you're using contactless, you can just uh, flip open the wallet and then uh, touch that on the reader and uh, it's not gonna get um, confused with any of the cards in there. The notes can go in the back there. According to the information, you can put 20 notes in there. Again, that will be quite full. I don't use notes much these days, so I've just got one in there at the moment and that is a UK 20 pound note. But if you've got really big currency, I don't know uh, uh, what is much bigger than that, but clearly you could just fold it in half and put it in the, in the corner there as well. In terms of dimensions, 
When open, it's about just over 15 centimeters or 150 mil, which is about six inches by three and a half inches, which is just over uh, 90 mil. So, uh, you know, pretty um, small dimensions. So we've got some money in there, we've got some cards and the profile is really narrow. We're talking about half an inch, give or take. So that, that's the kind of basic use. Obviously you can put more notes in and receipts and so on. I also like to carry a driving license and I've also got a donor card that go in there. So that goes, that can go in there. Or you can put in cards or, or whatever you like really at the back there and that works really well as well. So really nice use of um, of kind of the, the space. Say so no lining to get damaged or degrade over time. Really simple materials here, hard wearing leather, uh, really nice quality and really hard wearing stitches. And if they were to fail at any point, that could easily be re-stitched. The edging here is sort of burnished and sealed which is really nice. You see that in good quality leather goods where the, the edges are sealed. Um, so that's nice to see where the stitching is. Even the inside edges have been looked after. So that's great. I also like to carry one of these. This is a right in the rain notebook, the smallest they do. And I'll link to this in the description underneath this video, but I have quite a few of these and they're just great for notes uh, on the go and take up very little space. It's the size of a credit card, as you can see, and I would uh, drop that in there. The other thing I carry regularly, as some of you might know, if you've watched some of my other videos, is a tile slim. This goes in my wallet. And this, as you may or may not know, links to my mobile phone. And if I lose my wallet, when it disconnects from my mobile phone, as it gets separated, it logs the location. In addition to that, I can ring my phone from here by double pressing on that button. And I can ring the wallet from my phone. So if I've left my wallet lying around, uh, I can find it using this. So I find this really useful. Uh, good peace of mind to have and that can fit in there as well. So that would be my normal carry. It, it now is a little bit thicker, we're talking three quarters of an inch, which is about 20 mil, um, but that's fine for me. I mean this fits really well as a front carry wallet which I much prefer these days. In terms of branding there's very little which I really like. The only branding is that there where it says wing back um, on the back. So that's great. And uh, as I've said before, it feels really nice. It just feels like it is handmade for you. It feels quite special. So I really like that. Now it has one more trick up its sleeve, which I really like. Here we have a, uh, this is a, a passport. Um, this is a European passport. This will soon change to a British passport as we come out of Europe. Um, or the EU and um, and look at that so the passport fits in there perfectly we've now got our credit cards driving license passport in one really functional uh, carry and um, that can go in an inside pocket or in a backpack and you just know you've got everything together when you travel so I really like that idea and the fact that it almost transforms from a passport carrying wallet to a front jeans pocket wallet is just really nice and I, I really like it when people think very hard about the functionality and the form and use elements of design to bring that together. In terms of front pocket carry let me just show you that in action so it fits easily as you might imagine in your jeans and easy to access and uh, really nice to use well made quality wallet so there you have it the winston wallet from wingback if you enjoy this sort of content please consider subscribing and as always thank you for watching